I'm sorry. 39 years ago, Baltimore lost something very important. Could you let us know what happened? The Baltimore Colts snuck out in the middle of the night. They went to Indianapolis. Uh, owner Bob Ursay didn't like Memorial Stadium, thought he deserved a new stadium. Didn't like two o'clock starts. We used to play football at two o'clock. But as you know, the NFL has a one and four o'clock start time. We were right there two o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Didn't like that because of the blue laws back then. Um, and uh, Ursay shopped the Colts franchise around going to Jacksonville. Uh, he went out to uh, California and it was just, it was just, you know, all right, Bob, what, what do you want? I mean, really, what do you want? And then finally he just yanked the team and took them into Indianapolis. Um, he denied it all the time that he was moving. He was looking and we had him on, we, we followed him. We had him on stories doing it. And uh, the, the problem is that when the Colts left, they left a major void and everybody my age, a little younger, of course, those older, because we grew up right next door. Fred Miller, who just died, who was a, uh, it was a defensive lineman for the Baltimore Colts, he lived out in Hereford. He didn't move after he played with the Baltimore Colts. He lived here. He raised his family here. We knew him. He used to call people over to, to pet his pigs because he lived on a farm up in Hereford in northern Baltimore County. Johnny Anitis had a place right next door. It was the Golden Arm. He used to come over to the station all the time. I mean, Ordell Bracey had a place down there. Jim Parker had a liquor store in the heart of downtown Baltimore. These guys, we ran into them every day. So when your family packs up and leaves without warning, what do you expect us to feel? How do you expect us to feel? They got the horseshoe. They got the greatest uniform in the NFL. And we were just saddled with 11 and a half years of no tailgating, no going to bars to cheer on your favorite team. Washington, they're not coming up here to market their team. When they were the Redskins, Jack Kent Cook could care less about Baltimore. So here we go, who we go? Don Shula, we'll, we'll go with Shula because uh, he was a Baltimore Colt coach. He was coach of Miami at the time. I mean, it was, uh, it was a hard time. And uh, we played by the rules. We went to the expansion committees and the, and the NFL meetings and the owners. They voted us down twice. They went to Jacksonville and to Charlotte and Baltimore's, Baltimore's proposal was better than those two. Finally, uh, we did, you know, something that we went after the Cleveland Browns and Art Modell, who saw the proposal back then, he didn't get his stadium in Cleveland, he decided to move here. We got two Super Bowl winning teams with the Baltimore Ravens, and for that, we are forever grateful. And, uh, but it just, is, uh, it just leaves a sour taste in your mouth about what happened to our beloved Baltimore Colts.